Bohemian Boxing Report and live and direct. So with all due respect, cut my check. I'm here with Patrick Day all day. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. From Freeport, Long Island. There we go. We out at the Paramount right now. As you see up above, and maybe you can't see the bar Kiki, but this is where we at. Huntington, Long Island. So we outside. The main event was Tyrone, Pretty Boy, A.K.A. Jackpot, James. But I'm out here with Pat Day right now, and we're just gonna talk about whatever with the climate of boxing, the Spence fight coming up with Porto. Whatever Pat want to talk about, we're gonna kick it. Yeah. yeah, man. I mean, boxing is in a good shape right now. Big fights coming up. Spence Porter is like what the highlight is what everyone is looking forward to right now. You know, so uh, I like that fight, man. Two yeah. champions coming together. Okay. I got Spence in that fight. You got Spence. I got that's, what, <laughs> that's what my cameraman was saying on our ride up here from Queens. He was saying that he got Spence, and he's saying this, Kenny. I actually believe Porter has a good shot. My cameraman said that he don't even have a, a chance. That's what you said, right? I totally disagree, but I'm biased. Um, what do you expect? What kind of fireworks do you expect? I expect 12 rounds worth of fire fireworks, even though I, I'm going to keep it to myself. But the last time I made a prediction on camera with you, I was absolutely wrong. But I do expect fireworks for both of them. How about yourself? Fireworks as well. I think Porter's going to have a great fight. Entertaining. He's going to bring the pain because he's got to. He can't come out here passive like he fought against Ugas, you know, moving around, using the ring. I don't think that really works for him in this fight. He needs to come out there and try to um, make Spence uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, Spence is the cleaner, more polished fighter. Absolutely. And I think he's stronger. So he, he's gonna, uh, I think he's going to land some, some hard hammers on uh, Porter. Okay. And what round do you expect the differentiation to happen? Like uh, after the after the sixth round, after five, maybe the later, later rounds, like nine. At some point, there's going to be uh, a separation between the two. Um, and I... Someone's gonna pull apart. Who, who, who do you think that someone's gonna be, and what round do you think is gonna happen? I think after six or after eight, you're gonna see Spence clearly uh, winning rounds. I think after eight, because Porter's in great shape, you know, and he could have sustained that pressure. But I think after a good eight rounds, you're gonna see Spence start to pull away. But I think he'll win a 12 round unanimous decision. All right, enough about them. Let's talk about Pat Day all day. What's the fight calendar for 2020? Let's talk about that. Because I know we had to tell last quarter 2019. Well, before we get to 20, we still got to focus on the end of 19. I'm fighting in three weeks. Wow. Yeah, I'm fighting October 12th in Chicago against the young undefeated Charles Conwell. 10-0, okay. uh, 2016 USA Olympian. Okay. You know, so it's going to be a great fight. It's going to be another test, another challenge. Okay. This is what I do. I take on undefeated fighters on big stages, on big platforms. And I do my thing and I defeat them. And that's that. My last fight was a close loss against Carlos Adames. I thought the fight could have gone in my way, but unfortunately it didn't. But this time, we're going to get it right, and we're going to win this fight, and we're going to have fun while we win. Pat, that's something. I actually didn't know you was actually in concentration camp right now, and you got a fight coming up so close. All right, so how is concentration camp going right now? Oh, it's going great. You know, we're training hard, as we always do. Nothing is too different. We made some adjustments since the last fight against Carlos Adames, and, uh, you know, styles and... and, and you know, a little, little slight adjustments, but aside from that, we're doing what we do. We train hard to be the best, and we're ready for a gritty, hard fight if it comes to that. Okay. All right. Tell me this, and I, I hear a lot of different responses when I ask this question, but something's telling me yours is going to be a lot more visceral um, than most. What are you fighting for? I'm fighting for success, glory. I'm fighting to establish myself in life, cement my legacy. That's what I'm fighting for. I mean, there's a lot of things I could be doing in life right now, but boxing is what sparks my heart. Because it's what tests you the most as a human being, as a man. I love this sport, and that's why I'm here. So, I mean, that's why I'm doing it. I'm here to just cement my legacy, cement my future. I want to spoil my family with riches. God willing, I get it. And that's that.